Hey Stalker, Evan from Stalker Music Musician, and today I've got a deep dive into one of the wonderful new effects in Reason 11, the Sweeper. So, what we're going to do is dig into all of the modes of this wonderful new toy, and also talk about sort of the more common things like the LFOs and the modulators that are shared by it. We're also going to just do a little bit of discussion about what a phaser, flanger, and filter are. Uh, now, before we go any farther, though, I do want to invite you to like and subscribe to this channel because that's how you'll get all the latest and greatest news to help you make better beats, to pursue your passion, and to get the most out of reason. Also, if you've got any questions or comments, leave them below. Okay, so what is a phaser? Well, a phaser basically cuts out a certain portion of the song or of the frequency of an instrument and moves that up and down, which creates sort of this whooshing sound. So this is like a brief approximation. I've bypassed the phaser, um, and let's bypass the EQ for a second. So this is what the guitar sounds like. Unprocessed, and now let me turn on the equalizer. So that's basically what a phaser does. And so let's look at the controls, the overall layout of the sweeper. And this applies to most of the stages. You have the main controls right here in the middle. The frequency of the phaser, the bandwidth and the feedback, how many stages there are, polarity, mute, the spread, the stereo spread, and a wet dry knob mix, and then the overall volume. Everything else is sort of affecting and going into how those controls work. So what we're going to do is we're going to, let's reset this. So um, basically, we'll start with just getting in the phaser sound dialed in, and then we'll deal with all these ways that you can further modulate it and create really cool sounds. But before we go any farther, um, I do want to let you know that I put together an awesome cheat sheet to help you get better at Reason 11. There's a link download down there to download it. It's free. It's just got all the basic things you need to know about all the instruments and effects in Reason so you can get up and running quickly. Whether you're new to Reason or it's been a few uh, updates since you've upgraded, it's going to be really helpful to let you know what everything does in Reason. All right, so now we'll turn off the equalizer. And now we've just got the phaser going. I'm going to mix in some wet dry. So frequency is where it's centered on. Then bandwidth is how wide of a notch you're cutting. Like, oops, if you look at this EQ here, is it narrow or is it wide? So. And feedback is where you take the signal that's being created, that's being phased, and you feed it back in, which sort of creates, we'll do an extreme version, but. Then you have the number of stages, which is basically just multiple versions of the phaser. So let's make it four phases now. I think you can go. Obviously, it's going to get more extreme the higher you go. I find between like two and four to usually give me a, a good sound. Polarity will just flip it so that um, it's, it's out of phase or in phase. This meets the dry signal. Because uh, I believe with this effect, even with 100% wet, there's still a little dry signal coming through. And spread is the stereo spread. And this is just the volume overall. All 
All right, so because the flanger and the filter have very similar controls here around the edges, we'll get to those controls now, but just know that they apply also to the filter and the flanger. Um, so the LFO is basically just a signal making this wave shape, or you can change the shape that it makes, and you can change the speed with which it moves, or you can sync it to the beat. So every bar, I'm sorry, every bar, every four measures, it's going to complete this shape. And then what you can do is you can have that shape by doing LFO. Let's actually first do LFO to volume. This can create a tremolo sound, and this will be easy to hear. We got 100% wide special. If we make it faster, or the opposite, but you can also send it to the filter so that the filter will move. The filter frequency moves back and forth by using the LFO to frequency. And you usually want something more subtle, the sine wave, like. how much it affects it. So that's LFO to frequency. Then you have the ability to do mod to frequency. And this section here is the mod frequency. There's two modes, mod standing for modulator. One, you can just draw in these, there's a bunch of presets that are basically just these shapes, right? Kind of like an LFO, but not quite and you can loop them or sync them. So you can have this go directly into the frequency. Or we can do a totally different preset. Especially if we had it lower to begin with. Um, so that's what the mod does, but it gets way cooler than that because you can have the audio trigger on so that this shape doesn't start unless a sound goes over a certain threshold, right? So, what you'll see here, it lights up when it, you can see the arrow running. starting to really modulate itself. Or you can do an envelope follower mode. Um, and 
we can send this to the LFO so that it'll influence the LFO rate um, without having the mod actually apply. So it's mostly being controlled by the LFO. The LFO will speed up and slow down based on the envelope. All right, so now let's look at the flanger. Uh, basically, as you notice, the controls are almost exactly the same, except you don't have the bandwidth and you don't have the stages. The way that uh, flanger works is it's basically the same. Uh, it's pretty similar to a phaser in terms of its output and its sound, but it creates like a shorter delay between it, as I understand it, which creates these uh, like comb filtering, which is where like it naturally cancels the copy naturally cancels out the frequencies some of the frequencies of the original and they kind of interact by moving and I don't fully understand it but let's listen to what it sounds like with the flanger I'm going to just compare it to the phaser farther out there, a little more swirly and whirly. Let's just seven up. we have the filter which is a little bit different than either of these um, and I don't have the exact right way to give you the visualization of it but basically the filter works by cutting out frequencies um, that's about as wrong of an EQ curve as I would want um, so what the filter will do is it'll cut out everything below a point but what it does is it also boosts everything right at that point where it's cutting it out. And it's not really letting me draw the right curve on here um, to show you, but it's basically like you cut out everything below the filter point and give a big boost right at that cut. And then you move that, you modulate that. So let's just um, turn mod off and the LFO off for now. And so we're just gonna hear the frequency where it happens. This is how big that boost is, the resonance. And the la the type is whether you're cutting, the l you're doing everything below being allowed to go in, so you're cutting it on the top, a high pass filter where everything above it goes on, or a notch filter where you're actually cutting out specific notches, or the band pass where only certain areas get through. And then the number of dBs is basically how extreme it's, the cut is. 12 is more subtle, 24 is more uh, pronounced. So, let's turn this off. Set the LFO to control the frequency. And let's have some mod as well. In reverse, I have it triggered. So 
So when you put it all together, the sweeper is a super powerful tool for creating these organic, self-modulating, evolving sounds. And if you flip it together, you also have a lot of cool CV input controls that can further shape the sound that you're doing. Like you can have the kick drum be what triggers the filter, for example, by using the trigger envelope. Or you can have the frequency change based on the hi-hats or anything like that. And you can also have this in turn control other instruments. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, be sure to give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and download that helpful cheat sheet. So thanks for watching. Keep after it.